Welcome from sunny Malta. This is uh, JP and Radio International team reporting from the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2015. Although it's uh, 2014, we just had the Junior Eurovision Song Contest in this hall, in this venue. So that's why you see the logo behind the second artist that we're going to be ch uh, chatting with today. She'll be the second one in the semi-final on Friday at the Malta Eurovision Song Contest. It's Iona Dali, and it's a newcomer to the contest. Welcome, Iona. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. I was a little bit, a little bit excited in the morning. I just got ready for my rehearsals, and I'm, uh, I'm really happy with the outcome. Super. Now, how does it feel to stand actually on a Eurovision stage? It was one last last Saturday. Uh, it feels really good. Um, and the stage is amazing this year. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the first time you're taking part. What made you go and take part in it? I, I submitted the song for three years, but this year I didn't want to submit it because mm -hmm. I did. I didn't believe that I, I can make it through because uh, last uh, the last three years I didn't make it through. But then my father um, uh, he went and submitted the song, and uh, I'm here. <laughs> Fantastic. Now of course it's a bit too early to say, but would you do it again next year if it if it doesn't go well this year? Uh, or yes, sure. No, come back I will do. every yes. year. Yes, Fantastic. I think I will do it again. Um, then I've read about you that you were in China. Tell yes. us a little bit about your musical career in general and put in the China uh -huh. information. Uh, I started singing when I was about three years old, four years old. And uh, when I was seven years old, I went to China to represent Malta. I sang Viva Malta in Chinese. Um, uh, then I came back. I went to Tunisia um, with my choir. Uh, I, uh, I, I manage a choir also, and this year I took them to Tunisia to represent Malta. I took part in several musicals in Malta, and I went to England also to study musical theatre. Wow, that's a lot, it's a lot. Well, uh, I know that many, many singers in Malta, they're not only singers, you have also second or third jobs. Are you a full-time singer? I am I'm a student, uh, I study childcare, and mm -hmm. I'm also, I have my own recording studio, and I also teach children singing. Amazing. That's why you have the choir as yes. well. No? Is it easy for you to teach the children singing? Because I think you need to have a lot of coordination, a lot of discipline in there. So how how do you go about this? Um, you have to have discipline, but you have. I think you have to be close to them. They have to trust you to, in mm. order to. You have to have a lot of patience. But I like I like my job. I'm pretty sure that over the recent years you have been watching the Malta Eurovision Song Contest. Have you any favorites uh, of, of the Maltese artists? Um, I like a lot of the songs, but I don't have a, a favorite one. But that's for this year, but for uh, previous years? Uh, like the same. The last year's song was really good. Firelight. Firelight, and, yes. And uh, you have a favorite artist in general? Maltese artists, I don't have a favorite artist in general, but uh, um, international, I have the Adele. I like. Okay. I really like her. There's her songs. Mm -hmm. And when you watch back at the Eurovision Song Contest, mm -hmm. have you their uh, favorites? Um, Invincible was really good. I don't know which. Carola, year. that was 2006. Okay, yes, yes, yes. With the Swedish wind machine. <laughs> That's one. Um, is it a dream for you to take part of the Malta Eurovision Song Contest eventually, uh, and also the Eurovision Song Contest? Here in Malta, I think it's it's, uh, it's one of the main things that that you can start off mm -hmm. with your music career from. I think it, it was a dream when I was young, but these three years, I, I cut back from it and I didn't want to take part. But this year, I'm here and I'm real happy. Fantastic. Have you got a message for all the fans that are outside watching and listening? Your, your students, most likely, I think they, they must be your big fans. Um, this year, I was going to give up. My message is never give up, but because here I am. Fantastic, that's really cool. You're working together with Boris Chesek, is it? No. No, no, it's, uh, sorry, Philip Bella. That, that's the one, Philip Bella, sorry, yeah. So how is that to work with him? Because he brought us great. a lot of good songs, actually. Yes, yes, he has three songs this year. He's great. He gives a lot of feedback. Uh, mm -hmm. Really good. And uh, are you writing music yourself? What? Are you, are you writing music yourself? I, I wrote, but, but I never published them. Try it. Uh, never never to, give up. I'm going to this year okay. or, or, or next year. Your song number two in the Malta National Final for 2015, Iona Dali, all the best of luck with Thank the song you. that's called... Could Have Been Me.